Well, good morning, my people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in bed this morning. And uh, this is a reaction video, my people. A reaction video. It's a reaction video that is also a warning. I'm here to warn you about this big, busty, wild, mentally unstable beast that's running around through the YouTube streets. She's obviously very, very desperate. You know, she got married a couple of years ago. And she married into what she thinks is a big, a big, uh, uh, famous family. YouTube famous family. And uh, so I guess, b b bearing that in mind and the fact that her skin is light and all of that stuff, she thinks she can get away with anything out here in the YouTube streets. Just say whatever the hell she wants to say. I'm really getting tired of her crazy behind. Being out here, you know, acting like she doesn't have any sense. She's obviously desperate. It takes a real desperate person to be out here in the YouTube streets saying and doing the stuff that she's saying and doing. And always coming out her face talking about God is the head of her household and how she ain't out here bothering nobody. Just, just rude, disgusting. Stupid, ugly, inside and outside. <sighs> Sitting over there, laid up in her bed with them three foot long ropes tied into her hair. They, having to hold her head a certain way or keep her hand propped like this to keep all those ropes from being in her face. And sitting up there, laying up there in the bed, uh, talking about taking a laxative. Taking a laxative and uh, relieving herself all over another content creator. And saying in the video that she thinks that, you know, <clears throat> the smell of it will uh, mask the smell of the content creator. That she is trashing. And also saying that... Um, the content creator would probably welcome the stench from her bowel movement being all over her body. So that she probably likes stuff like that. When you have a woman who has grown kids and grandchildren that are in and out of her house, has a husband that is home most of the time, Has a YouTube channel. And even records her videos. YouTube videos. From work. When you have a woman like that. Who goes public and lets people know of the thoughts that she keeps. She keeps thoughts of other women's vaginas. The condition that they might be in. She repeatedly tells people that she adds bleach to her bath water. Because she keeps her mind on her own vagina as well. And views the vagina. She obviously views her own vagina and other women's vaginas. As a nasty, disgusting body part. That she feels needs to be bleached. Soaked in bleach. And is always oozing something. And smelling like fish. And smelling like urine. Etc. Because she's always talking about it. In my opinion. She must have had. Some real serious vaginal issues. To keep coming out her face. Talking about other women's vaginas. So now she's talking about Wanda's. She's made it perfectly clear. And Wanda has already responded to the filth that came out of this busty, mentally unstable bitch's mouth. So I can go ahead and say her name. I am not... 
So don't come for me talking about I don't need nobody to defend me. I'm not trying to defend you. What I'm trying to do is to clean up these here YouTube streets and point out when somebody is mentally <laughs> mentally unstable and should not be on the internet talking to anybody unless they have warnings all over their channel saying that this is inappropriate for human beings to watch. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm doing here. So, anytime, as I said, you got a woman that is out here behaving this way and talking this way and making it perfectly clear to the people what her mind stays set on, excuse me, what her mind stays set on, you have to realize that this person has no self-respect. She'll sit up there, you know, with her... Uh, eyelashes on, two foot eyelashes, and, and all those long ropes and stuff, as I said, tied into her hair, and her nails are all fancily done up with, the, you know, the jewel, her fingers was all fancied up with the jewelry and the nails and all that stuff, and, uh, she'll sit up there and talk about, what, she'll sit up there and talk about what her own vagina smells like. Oh, mine smells real good. Would you like a sniff? Come on over because it's clean all the time. I I bet you invite people to your vagina all the, all day long, don't you? Is that how you got all the kids that you got? Because you always had a sign. You walked around when you was, what, 17, 15 years old with a sign on that says, All welcome here. So you, you lay up there. And you're you're fifty plus years old. You're fifty plus years old. And you talk like you don't have any sense. You think like you don't have any sense. And every time you open your mouth you prove to the world. You prove to the listeners. Anybody within the sound of your voice. How one track your mind is. You're like a sexual predator. I remember the stuff that you had to say about Tasty Squawks where you said, you know, she was an evil child and that she deserved all of the stuff that her mother let those men do to her. You told the world a whole lot about who you are and how you think and what you stand for then. And they should have taken that shit down when you put that up. But you get away with a whole lot of garbage is what you do. So you made that video and it wasn't your first reference to stuff like that. And then, and, and, and now you're sitting up there again. And this is like, how, are you people counting? How many videos does, does this, this busty, Mentally unstable, desperate, uh, rope-headed woman have where she is talking about the vagina. My question to you, why do you keep your mind on vaginas? Are you a sexual predator? Why do you keep your mind on vaginas? Are you married to, to Walt, but, um secretly lusting after women and do you like big women because you always talking about big women I'm starting to feel like you lusting after big women like you the one sitting over there you're imagining what Wanda's vagina smells like you're imagining what it looks like you're thinking about it being covered by her stomach. You are wondering what it smells like, so on and so forth. You're inviting her to take a look and a, a sniff at yours. Something is wrong with you. When you, you lay up in bed knowingly making a YouTube video and describe in, in, in great detail how you are going to and extend an invitation to others listening to come and help you hog tie hog tie 
another female, another content creator, so that you can yank their teeth out of their mouth. Listen to me when I repeat what it is you said, you stupid bitch. You extended an, uh, an invitation to other viewers to come and help you hold down another person, period. Hog tie them and yank their teeth out of their mouth. Do you hear? The mentally unstable part of that. Can you see it? That a person to say that, to think, to do that must not be right in the head. And my question is, why is YouTube allowing you? Your bitch ass. Your bitch stanky, musty, busty, rope-headed ass. To make these videos on YouTube. Is it because they enjoy seeing black people? Is it because they enjoy seeing black people get on YouTube and act like... The N-word? Is it because they view black people as the N-word? And so when we come on here and we do demonstrate, come on here and do things to prove them right, they applaud it, they love it, and they leave it up there? Or are you getting away with it because you're connected to, you're the sister-in-law of somebody who has millions of subscribers? Are you getting away with it because of the color of your skin, because it's light? How many videos have you made where you have said with your own mouth that you think somebody has a problem with you or somebody was going to say something about your light skin? Why do you keep referring to yourself as red bone, etc.? You keep throwing it in our faces that your skin is like, you know, you also, you're mentally unstable, but you also suffer from that Mariah Carey syndrome. Yeah, you got Mariah Carey syndrome, and you look blacker than she does. And to the casual observer, she is definitely a black woman. But in her head, in her mind, she don't see that. She thinks that when we see her, we become confused as to what the fuck her race is. Ain't nobody confused about your race. You look, sound, act, walk, talk, and everything straight up like a black person. A low class one. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how you getting all these passes. Because somebody with, you know, 4,000, 5,000, or 200 subscribers, if they came on YouTube and said, and called out for assistance to help, some, to help them hog tie another person, Hold somebody down all the time and, and, and then abuse them by ripping their teeth out their mouth. Their channel would be gone or their video would be down. So, you know, YouTube really needs to get their act together. And you really need to get yourself to a therapist and lay on the, on the sofa and explain to them why you always are thinking about vaginas. Everything inside your head is sexual. Your sexual thoughts, your sexual thoughts all day long. You can't shut it off, can you? I'm thinking to myself, you must not be getting the dick. You've been married for what? Two coming up on three years? And 
I'm thinking to myself, you know, since we so rarely see the two of you together, yet y'all claim to be living in the same house. Every time you laying down in the bed, I, I don't even see his sock. I don't even see his sock hanging on the headboard. Because I know he must be masturbating into a sock. He certainly ain't getting off in you. Because if he was getting off in you, your sorry ass wouldn't be always making... You can't, you can't cook... You can't cook a chicken leg. You can't heat up a hamburger bun. You can't unwrap a piece of cheese. Without saying something about a woman's body part. Because you keep your mind on sex. And my guess is you keep your mind on sex either because you're a sexual predator or because you ain't getting no action. If Walt can't bring you to an orgasm. Well, then why don't you remove one of them stupid ass nails from one of your fingers and massage your damn self to orgasm so that you can stop turning on your computer and talking to us about what some other woman's vagina must look, smell like, and taste like. We don't want to hear no more from you about your damn um, <clears throat> Clorox baths to keep down the odor that you have that stems from all the men that you slept with that impregnated you 45 times by the time you was 23. And we don't need to hear any more about your Clorox applications to your vaginal area based on all those super tight, three times too small spandex pants and shit that you be wearing 24-7. We, 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 we're tired of it. The only people interested in hearing about it are... The, the stupid, lusty, crusty, bumpy, smelly men that want to get with you. That want to get with you. And we can look at your husband and tell that those are definitely the kind of men that you attracted to. I don't understand why you went and married somebody that don't nobody don't know decent woman want to have sex with. And now you mad at the world because you can't get your groove on with the dude that you selected as a husband. We all know that you married the dude on the condo. You thought to yourself, you are often fired from your jobs. You often quit your jobs because you can't get along with the women that work there. And that you... Whatever money you get your hands on, you fly right on through it. And you thought to yourself that if you marry Walt, his sister would never let him be homeless on the streets. And so you could just be wild with your money. And he could just be lazy in life, period. And when the time comes... His sister, your sister-in-law, the one with the millions of subscribers in the warehouse and everything, will just let y'all have the East Wing. Let y'all have the East Wing to, you know, sit back there eating your, your fish asachiki. <laughs> eating your fish asachiki. <laughs> and talking about other women's stinky vaginas. And y'all could live rent free. I'm guessing that this is the dream you have for your life. Which is very, 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 very sad. But it, it is what it is. But I'm telling you, you need to learn how to remove a nail. Learn how to massage yourself down there. Uh, once you finish with your, your Clorox treatments. Or you know, learn how to rub yourself against a pillow or bump into doorknobs, uh, lean up against, put some sneakers in the dishwasher, in, 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 in the washing machine or the dryer, lean up against it. You need to learn how to take care of yourself so you'll stop coming out here in the YouTube streets showing us all this attitude. Why don't need you talking about her? 
She don't need you extending no invitations to come and sniff you no place. With all the talk you have done about the the the, 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 the Clorox being in your bath water and how your mother made you do it when you was a kid. To, oh, I'm sorry, introduced you to do it when you was a kid. That, uh, you, you're just telling the people that something must be oozing someplace and you're trying to, you know, keep it down. Apparently, the, the, the gynecologist can't hand you no medicine and no prescription to take care of whatever is oozing out of you and causing all the other. You sound like somebody who is terribly familiar with vaginal discharges and vaginal odors. You, and if you know so much about that and you're not a gynecologist or a gynecologist assistant, then you must have had and continue to have a lot of issues down there. A lot of issues down there. And the only thing that you have found to really help yourself is, 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 is bleach. Is bleach. Why don't you get focus on getting your mess together? Because and, and it, it, the other thing I wanted to point out was, do you really need to stop talking about the size of other women? You talked about the size of who was that woman that your husband was with when he left your ass, um, and then foolishly returned because you was in the kitchen and do, doing some kind of dance to a song that was not playing in the background and looking all robotic and everything. Well, who was that woman? That he was with. And you said, that man don't want you. He don't want you no way. Walt don't want you no way. Because he ain't never like no big fat woman. Well, look at you. You big fat now. You told us that you look. Know, the camera makes you look bigger in the kitchen. You big and fat in the bed. You big and fat when you're sitting in the chair. You big and fat when you're standing by the car. You big and fat when you're sitting in the tub with all that bleach water. You big and fat everywhere. So, are you, oh, you letting the people know. You letting the people know. That's why you keep talking about women's vaginas. That you ain't getting no action because you, you want the man. I remember I saw, I saw a video. Walt ain't touching you because you're so big. It's not that you don't want his hands on you. He don't want to touch you because it's too much fat to move around. He got to lift up them breasts of yours. And you getting close to that stage where he got to lift up your, your stomach. You always wearing stuff. You, you you wearing that belt and you wearing them body shapers and everything to lift stuff up. But it, when you take all that stuff out, off at night, are your knees covered? I would just like to know, are your knees close to being covered by your stomach? You a big woman and you told people a few years ago that Walter want nothing to do with no big fat woman. So he ain't touching you, is he? He don't like all the, the, the fish ashiki you got under your, your fingernails and that fish ashiki down... In your southern region. He don't like all that. You think because yours smell like it got onions and garlic and stuff in it. It's still it's still fishy. Don't know me ever want to go down there with that. You're going to need something more than bleach, child. Now we know what the problem is. Your man don't want to touch you because you are big and fat. You are big and fat. That's what you said about that other woman. I bet he was laying it down good with her though when he was after he had left you. But you, you, you probably sitting there right now wishing that you could get it the way she was getting. Uh, she was nicer than you. She didn't have a disgusting, filthy mind. She wasn't a very likable person, and now she's skinny. She's she's skinny now. She's skinnier than you have ever been in your life. She's skinnier today than you was when you was born. So, you know, you need to work on becoming a nicer person before Walt start looking back in that woman's direction. Because according to you, that woman is now the size of a woman that uh, Walt would be attracted to. 
He don't want nobody big and fat like yourself. You ain't get no dicky. You ain't get no dicky. And you mad about it. You ain't getting no penis. You ain't getting no poking. You ain't getting no prodding. You ain't getting nothing. And so you mad. <laughs> you mad every single day. And you come out here in the YouTube streets and you make your dirty, disgusting, filthy videos. And you know what else you're doing? You told the people in that video. What was the name of that video that you made? It was something about uh, pissy. Pussy, fishy, smelling, SpongeBob, A S S B I T C H was the title of your video. The title of the video alone, YouTube should have came along and said, ah, and snatched it. What was I going to say? So, the other thing that you said in that video. You told her, you made a public announcement, you say, you know what, in fact, every time I go live, I'm going to be on your ass. You told her every time you went live, you were going to be on her ass and talking about her vagina. Who makes a plan to do it? Who makes a public announcement that this is going to be, that this is listed on their itinerary? This is what I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel. Did you sit down and write that down? Gain more subscribers. Get more likes. Increase my views. By talking about Disgusting, dirty, nasty, stinking, oozing vaginas belonging to those women with fupas. Is that what you called it? Anybody who is obese, who is stomach, whose stomach is hanging over, over their thighs, you're going to talk about their vagina. That's your business plan. And really, would you take that into the bank and try to get yourself a loan and let them see that this is your business plan? And share with them how you see the business growing in five years, etc. You're just stupid. You're stupid and you real ugly around the mouth. You real ugly around the mouth. What happened to your mouth? Have people been punching you in your mouth since you was a kid? Because something tells me that even when you was on the playground, you always got your little ass beat up. Did you go home crying every damn day? Really, did you go home crying every damn day? And then when you grew up and you remembered all the people that used to beat your ass up every time you opened your mouth. Did you decide to yourself that you were going to be the school whore and have sex with all the boys um, so that the girls would stop punching you in the mouth because your mouth was so big? You decided that, yeah, I'm going to date the football player. I'm going to date the basketball player. I'm going to date the high school dropout. I'm going to always make sure I got me a man. Because my mouth is so big and I need somebody to protect me. They messed your mouth up a big time when you was a kid. I don't know why you, you hold my like that. Hey, look at her. Look at her. A pussy smell like... Uh, pussy smell like... Uh, yeah. yeah! I get tired of seeing your ugly ass mouth. You got them lashes for your eyes. Can't you find something to put around your mouth? So we don't have to see the ugliness of it. It's bad enough that we have to hear the ugliness that spills from them stupid looking lips that look like at some point somebody had, you know, I don't know. Were you really, really obese back in the day? And did you have your mouth wired or something? Cause it looked like something had been done to it. 
why don't you talk about that? Talk about yourself for a while. Explain to us why your mouth looks like that. You see, Wanda has talked about her her body size and her stomach, etc. She has addressed it all. And we have actually seen her from head to toe. We have seen her in form-fitting and loose-fitting clothes. You only wear one kind of clothes and you talk about other people but not yourself. We would like to know why you hopping around in the kitchen like you're doing. Because you said, somebody said that one of your legs was shorter than the other. Well, you walk like one of your legs is shorter than the other. You walk like you got a prosthetic leg or something. And, and you know, you got so much to say about other people. Why don't you talk about your damn self? Why don't you help us to understand why we should not be making fun of you in the way you move around there in that kitchen? Why don't you explain to us why you be wearing scrubs that are three times too small? Three sizes too small. Why don't you explain that? You got money to get your nails done, to get all the ropes tied into your hair, and, and dyed different colors. You got money to, to, to spend on all that jewelry and stuff. And you go into the store, you, you find stuff that nobody else can find, decorative stuff. Apples that are you know, like five feet long, five feet wide and stuff you all of that display stuff that they put up there in the stores and to attract you in to look at their furniture and stuff you go up to them and you're like can i have this stuff can i buy it they, they're like it ain't for sale but somehow you get your hands on it and then you bring it home and you sit it on your table and i'm like that's the stuff that people put in the showrooms that's not stuff that people go out to buy and decorate with you need to understand that. So, you you got money for all this other stuff. And I'm just trying to figure out how come. Is that, you, you, you spend all your money on all that other stuff. Is that why you won't buy yourself clothes that fit you? Your body has grown. But you still wear in the same uniforms you was wearing when you was a size 12. You're a size 42 now. Use a size 42 now. So why are you still trying to squeeze your body in, into a size 16? I do not understand it. Walt won't give you no money to buy no uniform? Is Walt telling you that he'll uh, bust you in the face if you, you know, buy a bigger size? You, he probably looking at you saying, you know, you... You're a fat ass pig now. You wasn't a fat ass pig when I married you, but you was a fat ass pig now. But I'd be damned if you go fill the clothes closet with size 62, 25X, and all that stuff. You gonna keep the same clothes you was fitting into when I met you, and even if they uncomfortable, your big ass body. He talked to you like that. Is that what the problem is? Is that why you keep coming to us? Squeezed into something that's, you know, three, four, five times too small. Be so tight up here. Be flattening your, your, your breasts out. Your breast distances. We see every fat roll you got on your back. Your shirt be sitting up on your butt. Be this much of a shirt. Normally the shirt would cover... Most of your ass, but by the time you squeeze your big giant body into it, you got this much of the t left on the tail of the shirt, and that's sitting at the top of your ass. And you hopping along from the stove to the kitchen, looking like you got a prosthetic leg on, claiming that one leg is not actually shorter than the other, and swinging your hair back. Trying to wash the vegetables and stuff by holding your hair back with one hand. And talk, shit talking somebody else and trying to body shape. How are you going to try to body shape somebody looking like you look? Really, how are you going to try to body shape somebody looking like you look? You are giant. Yeah, you are giant. This, this, this big fat giant woman right here is telling you. 
that you are obese. You are obese. You are obese with two foot long fake lashes. A whole bunch of rope. Cheap ass rope. Tied to your natural hair. And it's three feet long. And you got it that long to try to cover your back fat. And your big cellulited ass. Ooh, Lord. It's so liberating to finally say all this stuff that has been on my mind. Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. I'm sick of you. Out here in the YouTube streets acting desperate. What is it you need? What is it you need? Did that shirt, did that machine that you bought to do, you start your t shirt business, did that break down? You run out of ink or something? You are obviously needing something out here. Needing more money out here in the YouTube streets. Which is why you out here behave in the way you behave. You have to have zero imagination to think to yourself, how can I make more money to get these bills paid and to buy the stuff that I want to buy? You want to buy a Bentley, don't you? You want to buy a Bentley. You want... You want to live like your sister-in-law, don't you? And you don't know how to do it. You just desperate. You been all over Adrian's ass. And now you all over Wanda's ass. What's the matter with you? You desperately need money, don't you? You desperately need money. Uh, what happened to that hair grease? That... Miraculously brings back your edges from years and years of abuse of tying ropes to your hair. You need money to try to get some kind of business off the ground. Ain't ain't that the truth? You in debt? You scared? You done told somebody off here what one of them women's that you think is uh, uh, jealous of you because your light skin. You told somebody off. What did you tell your boss off? And got yourself fired. And you said you was going someplace. What did you say you was going to work? A school cafeteria? You, was, you said you was going to be going someplace to work. I, truthfully, I believe your ass sitting over there at Amazon. And you've been talking about you working at some kind of medical facility, medical warehouse. I think you sit over there at Amazon. Because when I was at Amazon, uh, when I left Amazon, they had me sitting over there handing people them damn, those damn scanning guns, whatever the fuck they was called. They had me handing those to us, so I was in COVID Central. They... They came through the door, got the temperature checked, and got their guns, and picked up their masks and their gloves and stuff. And I'm like, I'm getting all the bacteria right here. At the door. I, I prefer being out there on the floor, weaving between the people, and you know, picking the stuff, and you know, dodging you and dodging you, and whoop, whoop, doing all that stuff. But they had me sitting up there, handing the people their shit, cleaning them off when they came back through, and. They were keeping them charged and everything. I think you're sitting over there at Amazon and want somebody to think that, you know, you got it better than you actually got it. But I, one thing I know for certain is you need some money. You need some money. And you said to yourself, ooh, how do I get my hands on some money? I know I talk about pussies. I talk about, I talk, I talk about stinky pussies. And that'll make people come and watch my channel. Because anytime you start talking about stuff like that, people perk up and they listen. You're like a little child. You're like a little child. Do you realize that your sister in law is well known by a lot of people out here in the YouTube streets. Do you realize that your husband is well known for being the brother of your sister-in-law who is well known out here in the YouTube streets? Do you realize that your grandchildren go to school with peoples with peoples who whose parents probably know your channel?
Now look, you probably gonna make a video talking about if she sit there, they're talking her go like this. <laughs> well, you live here with breathing in all these drug feelings that I'm breathing in. You, you feel your eyelids fluttering and your lips will be moving like this. All kinds of things will be happening to you, but go ahead and make fun of that too. Because if you make fun about anything about me, I will come at you real hard. Because I got a comedian in me. You do not have a comedian in you. What you have in you is a nasty minded child. That's what's stuck in you. That's what's stuck in you. You are a little girl trapped in a grown woman's forever expanding, increasing body. You can't get to be the size you are. Without stinking. <sighs> All that stuff you had to say about, you know, Wanda and what she must smell like. You know what you smell like at, by the end of the work day, don't you? You probably have all kinds of wipes with you at work. You can't pee. You can't fart. You can't do nothing. You you, you probably, every, every 15 minutes, you probably got to run to the bathroom. You probably got a little, you probably use some Clorox wipes instead of the regular wipes like most women do. You probably go down and eat and do your thing and dry off and, you know, go back and sit down. When you get up out the seat, does the odor stay in the seat? Does, can people smell you standing up? Really, what kind of problems do you have? You must have gone through everything in the book. In order to be able to say the kind of stuff that you have to say about what other women smell like. Or is it one of your children, one of your daughters? One of your daughters have a serious vaginal problem? You know a whole lot about it to be talking about it. A woman, you see, a, a, a woman don't sit around thinking about uh, uh, what somebody else's vagina has could possibly smell like based on this, that, and the other. You talk about that stuff when you have experienced it up close. And to experience it up close, you must have been able to smell yourself a lot of times. To smell yourself a lot of times. And you haven't learned yet that summer, winter, months, you know, you need to let the area breathe. Instead of keeping it locked up tight. You and Adrian. With your super, super tight clothes. Y'all only wear those super tight clothes. Because you think it makes you look smaller. And because it holds down. Pushes in. Controls in your opinion. The cellulite. And the jiggle. And gives the appearance that there's less flab. Than... There actually is. Isn't that why you wear clothes like that? Come on. Talk to me. It's just you and me right here, right now. Ain't nobody watching. Hey, look how little my channel is. Ain't nobody watching this. Tell me the truth. And let me know. Do you want to come over here for a little sniff? Do you want to see up close and personal what the sister girls working with in the southern region? You done extended that invitation to Wanda. I'm thinking to you myself, maybe you want somebody to extend the invitation to you. I don't really know what's going on. But I know I don't want Walt in my face because, you know, I'm just letting you know. I ain't trying to come on to your woman because you might be the jealous type. But then again... She already told us you don't like no big fat women. So, you know, maybe you want somebody to come over there and take her off your hands. I'm just... I, I, I was just trying to figure out if maybe she would shut the fuck up if somebody let her, you know, get a little sniff. Maybe if she get a little sniff of another one, she'll stop making all these videos talking about what other women might smell like down there. And maybe if, you know... You put on some thick gloves, a mask. You could lay next to her 
and give her a little feel in the night. And well, when you hear her start to scream, then you can go on back over to the other side and maybe that'll buy us about, you know, I don't know, a week of her not making a video with all these sexual references in it. I, I'm just suggesting to Walt. That he do his job because I remember a couple of months ago she made a video and she said she she was in the bedroom she was like you know tell somebody off and she was like cause I got to do my wifely duties and I thought oh no so I'm a little confused I don't know if she getting some action or if she not getting some action but I know when a, when a woman says I got to do what I got to do in the bedroom I know that she ain't happy. She ain't happy. I think she wanted to do some stuff in the bedroom, maybe not with you. So you really shouldn't, you know, be getting upset just because you know somebody's extended an invitation. Uh, she, she, she on YouTube inviting other women to come and smell her. So you know, you shouldn't really have an attitude about other women inviting her to come smell them. That's all I'm saying. I gotta go.